There is different ways of resolving it. Two of the ways is either we go through small holes and take out the fat, and the other one is make a little incision to take out the gland. So excessive fat tissue is take out through liposuction. If you have a gland, I have to make it to make an incision to excise the gland. And sometimes we have to use a combination of one and two. So you can see the glands can be asymmetrical. That means one is bigger than the other or the other is smaller. And this is the fat content that's taken out. You can see the incision is made right around the areola. So when it's closed up, you won't see any scar. And you can see how large the gland is. This is, as I referred to you earlier, if you just choose to take out the gland, you could get a pucker deformity. This is a patient that came to me because he was not happy with his surgeon because the surgeon created this concavity whenever he lifted his arms at the pool or the beach. This is because the amount of fat out here needs to be removed to make this a smooth result. This is the concavity, this was the gland taken out but all the fat around it remained. Some people need two stages. I reduce the fat, then I take a small amount of skin out through the areola. Uh, we also sometimes, if they're very big, we need to do a total mastectomy with free nipple graft. Um, what we do is we take out all the excess tissue. You do get a scar down here. And we, uh, we take out the skin and we put in the nipple areola as a graft. So you will not have sensation to that area. Uh, some people come to me for nipple reduction. Some men don't like it when their nipple is too big and they're wearing tight t-shirts and it protrudes. So what I do is I do a nipple reduction. Mm -hmm.